we are having so many of the key great musics of my life. So Schubert, Mozart, Beethoven, somewhere after all these years, it remains and remained my key repertoire. I, as a kid, was more taken by Schubert than any other composer. Not that I knew a lot of music. I just played the piano, that, that was it. And I hardly heard any orchestra. The only real orchestra that I have heard was Italian opera, Aida. I couldn't believe what glorious thing it was, but I couldn't connect that very opera to the plinky plonking that I was doing. But Schubert, somehow I felt very close to. The depth and tragedy and humanity and this unbelievable solitude. For me, it is some of the most poignant music there is. Mozart, wow, nobody could invent music as if it just fell off the sky on his lap and he wrote it down. Book ending 467, which is the most beautiful, most attractive and most inventive composition by Mozart. And 456 is one of the lesser known, but it is one of the greats because of the extraordinary slow movement, variation movement in mind. And when Mozart writes mind, it's a different one. I normally don't take Marlborough music making out into the real world because Marlborough's beauty, it's not the teacher teaches somebody, but it's we share the music and we explore the music together. That is for me one of the greatest attractions. But this time, well, my perspective at the Carnegie, I thought, okay, I had a group uh, with very special music, a Beethoven's Piano Trio Opus 17, number two. And that I would not mind uh, doing. Beethoven 4 is so much beauty, so extraordinary. It is one of the most poignant pieces of music that he wrote. To be able to play that with Andres, who is so unspeakably musical, and the Boston Symphony, who love him as I love him. It's a privilege to be part of that. Life is about discovery, curiosity. Every piece of music that you thought you knew is a new discovery. If you discovered something different from what you have heard before, continue to discover, because that is what we are here for.